A historic canal tunnel on the Yorkshire-Derbyshire border has been opened up to the public today for the first time since it collapsed over a century ago. The Norwood Tunnel near Kiverton was the longest tunnel in the country when it opened back in May 1775. Our reporter Mark Ansell has been for a good look inside. Journeying into a big brick time capsule, Norwood Tunnel on the Chesterfield Canal opened 240 years ago, but subsidence from nearby mining works led to parts of the tunnel sinking and it collapsed completely after heavy rain in October 1907. Now this is a real treat, getting to explore inside this tunnel. Members of the public haven't done this ever. It's normally up to these guys who check it every 10 years, but today I'm getting to go and see what's inside. Heading in deeper and above us, stalactites hang down like branches, reflecting the years this place spends untouched. People like to peer normally to see things like this, the historians, but we see this as a matter of course. And you can see the fantastic features sometimes, like the stalactites now that you see coming down. It uh, never ceases to amaze me when I come into spaces like this, it's wonderful. It stretches to more than a mile and a half, but the middle section remains collapsed. Yes. This is as far as we can go safely. I can see a small sunken vessel from many, many years ago, probably just carried equipment in and out of the tunnel. But you can see a big bank of silt up into the distance, then it eventually rises up to the crown area, that's the top of the tunnel. This is what Norwood Tunnel looked like back at the start of the 20th century when it was in full working order. As there was no towpath, boats would have to be propelled through by legging. This is where boatmen would lay on the roof of the boat and walk along the tunnel's ceiling. But when the tunnel collapsed in 1907, the Chesterfield Canal was effectively cut in two. This was the motorway of its day, so in 1907 when the tunnel collapsed it, it severed the artery across, uh, across the hills here. So the canal continued to be used but only from this point going back to the River Trent and essentially Chesterville was cut off. It's hoped the tunnel will eventually be opened up and the two sides of the Chesterfield Canal can be reunited once more for the first time in over a hundred years. Mark Ansell, BBC Look North on the Chesterfield Canal near Kiverton.